got this information. We can trace this information lineage by transmission of that information. We have a chain of narration going back to the event, the narrator who's narrating it, an eyewitness event. Do you have that? No, if you don't have the no, manuscript, you're missing the point. You're missing no, no, the point. No, no, let me tell you. Explain let me tell you. Wait, let, let me let me clarify my point. No, let me clarify. Let point. me clarify my point first. We want to know the discussion we're having is. You believe that you have evidence for Christ's crucifixion now is dead. I said, okay, what is the evidence? So far, you've given the belief of scholars, which is not an evidence. No, I didn't. Be, be, you said be, scholars believe. You told me the followers believe. That's not an evidence because this is a belief of it the is followers. Evidence. Come wait, on. wait, wait, listen. This is, a this is an evidence of that the people believe that he was crucified, but it is not a belief that crucifixion happened. It's establishing historically there are people who believe that he died. But it doesn't mean actually he died. The question is, just like, why? just like, wait, so, uh, wait. No, as people, excuse no, me, can, can, can I, finish, can I finish my point? Right. Then you bring, bring the evidence, a uh, question about this I asked you about. You said John was an eyewitness. So we went into another, you know, I, 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 an avenue of attestation of evidence. And that evidence is testimonial evidence, testimony of John. So I wanted to ask you, I asked you clearly, to accept a witness to provide evidence, there's at least two conditions that you met. Yeah. I only I didn't give many, I should have given many, I only give you two. One of them is the character integrity of the witness, and the other one is contemporaneity of the uh, event that they witnessed. So the, testi the testimony the witness provide might be an eyewitness direct testimony, not a third hand witness yeah, yeah. evidence because it's not a yeah, evidence. This is let, let, me, no, let, me, no, no, let me finish. Do you have that? The answer is no, because all you provide is John Ryland's manuscripts P52 doesn't talk about the crucifixion of Christ. The crucifixion part, even if it talks about it, is much, much later. So you don't have a contemporary material evidence which talks about the crucifixion, which you believe is written by John. Not only that, is what? Uh, he's a historian, he's not, he's a Jewish historian, Flavius Josephus, who wrote the history of Judaism mm -hmm. in 1993. And what do, they, what, what do we know about Joseph Flavius in terms of when he's writing about this text? Is he embellishing it? Well, he's saying that Jesus actually died. No, no, did he embellish what he wrote? No, he did. You ob obviously, obviously, you haven't read about the scholarship issue. On the, I'm not appealing to scholarship, but the actual. See, no, no. This is where you're inconsistent. Hear, hear me out. If you read about the account of Josephus, you'd know Josephus has embellished the account. Okay. So what's the evidence? The evidence is on the very okay, text itself. Tell me the evidence. No, 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 no repeat the no, evidence. I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to spoon feed you all the evidence. I would want okay. you to go and learn about this evidence. So far, no, no. I've been keeping spoon feeding you all the time. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting bored no, no, of spoon no, no. feeding. So the point I'm, I'm making. Made, no, 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 William. made the basis. Let me come on. Don't quote scholars. So bring now, their evidence. I'm just telling so what's you. What's your evidence about Josephus? I'm just telling okay, you. This is. A common knowledge about the writings of Josephus on okay, this issue, okay. right? So I don't need to quote a single scholar. If you didn't know about it, you can go and learn about it, okay, right? Nice. I'm not going to spoon feed you, as I, as, as no, I said. No, no. Give me evidence. Right. So as I said, this is something that you can establish yourself no, no, by a little bit of reading. The point I'm making here is the witness that you bring. If you don't have a contemporary evidence in terms of a written manuscript, at least provide. No, 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 sorry, no, no, no. Let, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish, please. Let me finish, William. You're deviating. No, let me finish. Remember what I asked for. A yeah. witness has to be someone who provides contemporary testimony. No, but he just bought uh, Josephus and you've just rejected it. And I'm saying, give me your evidence. Why you was Josephus an eyewitness? No, he wasn't, but his, his father Kalas was. Kalas dismissed. No, not at all. Do you know who, who his father was? Listen, you know who, do, am who I was, asking for an eyewitness testimony? His, what am I asking Josephus for? Josephus' father. Hmm? I have Josephus? no idea. He was a priest. Mm. And? So what is it? If he was a priest, where does that put him at the time when Jesus was crucified? So if your dad tells you everything, everything is I'm true. I'm just saying that it gives, it corroborates what Jesus uh, so, so basically, saying. if we have a father telling his son, the father, his any, father let me finish. Let me, let me finish. Yeah, so when Josephus is making a... William, if you have a father mm -hmm. narrating to his son, yeah. you're saying everything the father narrates, you take it as a gospel truth. I'm saying it's evidence. I'm in saying any it's culture. No, I'm saying it's In evidence. any situation. It's evidence. Listen. No, it's not an evidence. I'm telling you why. It's the evidence, evidence would be understanding the character of the father. Is the father a possessor of character integrity? Was he honest? Was he truthful? Did he have a good memory? 
So let's go back again. Do you have the John that you're bringing as an evidence, as a testimonial evidence, as a witness? Do you find instead of having the lack of any manuscript evidence, okay, let's put it aside because you haven't got anything. Do you have a continuous chain of transmission from people narrating from person to person who are honest and yeah. sincere, good memory, no reason to doubt their testimony? Do you have that? We don't have no, we don't need a chain. No, I'm we, asking you. You if need you, a temporal if you, link. If, if, if you don't have that link, then you we have no need, evidence. We don't need a chain because we've got the license of Peter. What's the evidence? Let me, to, let me finish. Yeah. Was Peter an eyewitness? Of course Peter was an eyewitness. Yeah, he went to the tomb. He was a and he saw Christ died. But he didn't see Christ die. Then he wasn't an eyewitness. No, but John saw him. Okay, so John, John saw him die. John saw him die. John? Yes. That's what we were analyzing so far. Yeah. John, even if he was an eyewitness, who testified? Who testified that John was a truthful person? Another Listen, you know Excuse what, me. This is why I'm saying. To you. Can you now this is establish this is the to... character integrity no, 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 no. of John? The reason why I say this is a waste of time. Too, I'm talking. Waste of time. So, let me explain. So in a court of law, no, no, you bring no, no, a witness no, no, no. and you can't provide whether this no, 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 guy is an no, no, no. honest person no, no, no. or not, and you can accept his testimony. This is a question I asked him. So many. What should, I need to know his epistemology. I just so, told you my no, epistemology. No, 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 let me finish, let me I am happy with accepting evidence in any court of law. Fair question. Where's the temporal link? Let me finish. So I asked him. Historical event in antiquity, does he accept to be an historical? I just told you. So tell any, me, tell me one. Any court of law, so when they. One. I am not, le, le, look, I am being so flexible and so lowering my standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am saying, so I am common. saying, in any court of law, what a sane, reasonable judge would accept as evidence, I would accept that. I'm talking about you. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so in antiquity. So, so, so tell me now, me what evidence can you take to any court of law in which a reasonable, sane, Listen, Judge Mansour, will accept as evidence. Mansour, I'm talking to you. I just told you. No, no, no. no, no you're, you're trying you to. Give so basically, no, no, basically, no, 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 he's not the you yeah, failed you're missing, you're missing. again and again he's, he's to doing, provide listen, a single piece no, no, of evidence no, no, that Christ was dead. No, no, and that is the core no, no, of your no, belief. Can you listen. Can you believe that? A core of your belief is Christ crucified no, and you can't can, provide I a single can, evidence. Plenty, but listen. There's a broken chain there. There's not a broken chain. Such listen. a core belief and you can't substantiate with a single evidence. No, no, no. How pathetic is that? Mansour. How pathetic is that? Let me ask you. No, no. Let me ask you one question. In ancient antiquity, mm -hmm. which accepts to be an historical fact. I just told you. You didn't. What did I say? Yeah. Give me one. Just give me no, one historical no, I, fact. I just, I just told you. No, you haven't. Tell me that. Hmm? I didn't hear it. It didn't mean what? Any court of law, no, no, a no. reasonable saying judge will accept as evidence. I will accept as evidence. Is he answering my question? I just told is you. Bit, is he answering my question? What was the question? Tell me one. Historical fact that he's accepted in ancient antiquity. Prophet Muhammad, he existed. No, no. We have, no, 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 we have no, no, documentary. No, no, no. I'm telling antiquity. you now. Antiquity. Oh, said, are you so 1400 years is not antiquity? No, it's not. You know that's it's not considered antiquity. Oh, it's, oh, no, it's not. So, it's not. So, 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 hang on, hang on. Ancient antiquity. Hang, hang on, hang on. Hang on. So, if I now find the very embalmed corpse of an individual inscribed all over him Tutankhamun or whatever right these, these people who are dead and they were what, what they call mummified I would accept that as a material evidence that this guy existed and this guy is known to be this material evidence this could be accepted in any court of law so I ask you again now, no, no, you're not, you're have you understood my epistemology? No, you didn't answer my question. Provide me with a single piece of evidence that Christ was crucified. You did not answer my question. You know you didn't. What did I just tell you? you didn't answer I accept Susan Hamon. He existed. No, no, I'm talking about... And I have material evidence. I'm talking about ancient antiquity. Oh, it's not ancient antiquity. In, 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 oh, the pharaohs and the mummies are not ancient antiquity. In, 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 no, no, no. Oh, so you want to now pin me towards yes. and direct me to a Greco Roman yes, culture yes, yes. and say, yes. and this is what happened? Yes. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, then there's no point in the evidence. There's no point in like talking to you because you're not being fair. No, no, you're not being because fair. Because you are the one who made a claim Christ crucified. I can right? give you many evidence, but every single evidence you're going to be what, no, no, no. what, what evidence did you, you share? The shroud of Turin. Shroud of Turin provides what? Evidence that he died? Well, evidence that, yeah, he was crucified. Yeah, he definitely died, yeah. The Shroud of Turin, seriously. Now, have you looked it into the evidence of Shroud of Turin? Have you? Have you? Have you? Um, yes, a little bit. Have you? Okay, yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. I think what it's is quite compelling, yeah. Okay. What is the evidence from the Shroud of Turin? I believe that uh, 
I know obviously the objections. I'm not asking about objections. What is the evidence? That it's indeed evidence that Christ was crucified. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Christ, that not, was, not, not, not was, someone else. It was the burial of Christ. Yeah. And what was it found? Was it found in his tomb? So why do you consider it was, it was his body that was because, brought Because, because, if you talk because? about chain of transmission, the Catholic Church... I'm chain, not interested in Catholic Church. So you're talking about chain of transmission. Hang on, Catholic Church... You are being inconsistent. Now, one minute you want chain of transmission, oh. I'll give you the Catholic Church. Okay, name them. Chain of transmission. Name the people and the name... The, oh, I can get it for you, I can get it for you. So it's basically now, you have a chain of individuals within the Catholic Church. Make the claim that this was Jesus burial. Yeah. All the way back to... Yes. Back to when? Back to uh, Peter. All the way, the link yes. back to Peter. All the way, yes, they do. So you have Peter who informed his students and so on, yeah? Peter, and, and, and Linus, Cletus, Clement of Rome. And every they, single individual was testified to be honest. And they say they've got a chain of narration, that's all I'm saying. But my criteria is not just chain of narration. Okay, then what can my I My criteria are any witness that you bring. Brother, I'm giving you a cumulative. You, you're, not, you're not listening, are you? The standard of evidence I demand is this. Exactly so. Character, know, integrity. This guy's epistemology. Listen, I'm wasting my time. I've just told you my epistemology. Character, you integrity. You haven't. Character, yeah, integrity. Yeah, How many times have I made this point? Any person that you bring within the chain of narrations, you have to establish no, 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 character, it's integrity. It's being inconsistent because even if I apply the same basis, no, so you are going to bring William Muhammad. You are going to bring your, your, a chain of transmission your, of the shroud, the shroud of Turin that every single individual has been testified of their character integrity. I, yeah? never said, I never said that, did I? But that was my so, standard. Can you no, no, take no, the no, chain no. of narration from anyone? Can you take, take the narration from anyone? Can I take it? I'm just talking to the Catholic Church have their own tradition. Eastern Orthodox have their tradition. And they all have chains of narration that go back to the early apostles. And they have all character even integrity the, testified. Even the Coptic Church. So, William, so what I'm every saying single is, individual in the chain of transmission Christians don't use this as our basis. Their character. To say that, oh, the Coptic Church, William, Eastern Orthodox, William, Catholics, okay. have a chain you know of transmission. Just, thereby, just to summarize, right? Do you know my point? But if within the chain of transmission. So, anyway, next week, what do you want me to bring to William, you? William, listen. No, no, because I'm getting. Tired and no, no, we're not getting anywhere. No, no. You're making yourself tired for a reason. I'll tell you why. No, 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 no. Within the chain of the narration of the Shagraf Turin, if you find within this chain one individual was known and certified to be a liar, would you accept that transmission of information? Brother, listen, would you? Can I say one thing? Answer that question. I personally would you accept it? Let me, let me explain. I explain by answer that question. Would you accept a liar within the chain of transmission? This is my point. Would you? I personally, you would never hear me argue to affirm any Christian doctrine or any Christian belief based on the Eastern Catholic Coptic. Because you can't. No, I don't. I wouldn't. Because they you can't. Do. No, you they wouldn't. They do have it. They have it. It's there. You can't. Okay. So far. Okay. You so know far. So, 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 so what, yeah, what I'm asking you right now. Don't say I can't. Look, I what can't. I said right now is this. If you find within the chain of the transmission within the Catholic Church about the Shroud of uh, Turin, there was an individual. Suppose you established that. There was an individual known to be a liar. Would you accept this testimony? No, the point I'm trying to make is... That, is that a no as in I would not? You're not listening to my I'm point. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Is that a no as in I would not accept the testimony? Listen, you're not listening to my no. point. Can you answer the question? If you find a person who is a liar, certified liar, yeah. testified by the community that he's a liar, Dishonest. I never argued. Would you? So listen, no, never listen argued. to my argument. Well, my argument is the standard of evidence I'm laying to you. Very so very very now, very would you accept brilliant. that testimony from that individual? Uh, would you? Well, just because they lie doesn't mean they Would you accept? I'm just telling you, I'm just, just because maybe you lied on one thing doesn't mean I'm going to say that you lied on all things. So you would accept this testimony even though he was a certified liar? If he was what, sorry? A certified liar. If he was a compulsive liar, then... Was certified liar. It depends. No, not necessarily. No, no, no. A compulsive so liar. A different I know people who lie. Certified liar. I know people the who lie. The community have agreed together that this individual is a liar. You know people who lie. They're certified. I'm sure you've lied before. I'm sure you know no, who's no, I'm talking liar. certified liar. Well, if somebody's a compulsive liar, no, no, no. no. Certified liar. You're, you're certified, you mean compulsive liar? No, I don't mean compulsive liar. If somebody who's lied once, is that what you mean? No, I mean the community testified that this guy is a liar. 
Would you accept his testimony? Right. So it's important then, in any chain that you bring, you have to establish the character integrity. That's the point I was this, making. This is the problem. This is so now, no, do no, you no. have a chain in which every single member... This is the problem. Can no, I no, finish no, my no, point? No, no, no. Let me make Can I finish point. my point, no, William? Because it's, it's irrelevant. If, remember what you said. The Shroud of Turin, we have the Catholic chain, church with the continuous chain of narrations. Let me finish. All the way back to Peter, who witnessed it. So now, the two standards that have to be met... To John. Okay. He said Peter, actually. The Shroud of Turin. So if you now find the standards that we're demanding to accept as evidence, one is contemporary, or if not, so listen, the, I'm, I'm not, I'm not finished. Him, I have not I've finished. Given him Can James I finish? Above of Jesus. Listen, listen, Jude above of Jesus. William, Peter the disciple. William, listen. John the disciple. He will help you understand. And you rejected right? all of it. So I have not rejected. I have dismissed them. And I'll tell you why I have dismissed them. I, I, I'm telling you straight away. So as I have been asking so far, if you have no contemporary manuscript evidence, then we look for oral continuity. Can I finish? Thank you very much. We look for oral traditions. Continuous information by memory to memory, mouth to mouth, oral. Memorization could be in the chain. Do you have that? You said yes. We have a chain of transmissions of the Catholic Church. The other standard that's being met, if you have a chain of transmission like this, are the witnesses, the narrators, persons of highest this is where character in let me what? finish no, 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 no. Please, Baba. character no, no, integrity you, Baba. Gonna, so now Baba, gonna, do you have do you know what? character to, integrity from his worldview, no, listen, established let me just make in the point. chain of narration of the catholic church his worldview believes that jesus followers were muslims God of fear and people. Do you so see now the he's dismissing Instead the followers of, of Jesus. Instead of arguing his case no, no, no. providing evidence, he's, he's, he's uh, going to go to deflection. No, I'm deflection. just saying he's being inconsistent. You've been deflecting. The Quran throughout. says that Jesus' followers were Muslims. They, they followed Allah's will. And now I give him all the disciples. Oh, maybe they're not honest. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you, do, do, you, do, you, do you have a testimony of the people of each other that they were honest? They refuse your Quran. Hang on. Does your, does your Quran say that Jesus' disciples hmm. were Muslims? Yes, which so. ones were they? No, it doesn't say. Hang on, which ones were they? It doesn't mention their names. No, no, which ones but were even they? Even in your. Hang on. What, what? The people who were the disciples of Christ, were they not ordinary fishermen? Not all of them, no. That's wrong. Hang on, hang on. You're wrong. Who were they? Who were they? Yeah. But you just said all of them were ordinary fishermen. You were wrong. No, uh, so you're saying they were not? Some of them were. And some of them were what? That's Educated? Good. Yeah, of course. And they followed him? Why not? Why, why, why are you incredible? Wait, 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 wait. So you have now... A tax collector working for the... The tax collector working for the Roman Empire yeah. would have been proficient in Greek. You must, and, and he you was... You accept that, right? Hang on. And he was with Christ. You would accept that, right? Listen. Was he with Christ? Of course he was with How long? What do you mean, how long? Jesus' ministry spanned about three years. Three years. How long was he with him? Three years. So, did this tax collector, who you call Matthew, is that what you call him? Yeah. Right. What's his second name? Well, his other name was Levi. But see, this is where you're wrong. No, 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 no. Let me just let me just explain one Am thing. Am I asking you something unreasonable? No, 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 no. You know, it is unreasonable. Because, What's his second name? Because in the first century, um, he doesn't have a second name. Did not have second names. What do they have? They didn't. They had other names. Like so. Like even what? If you read, like for what? example, like what? Peter was called Cephas. Yeah. And what was Matthew called? Matthew was called Levi. So people knew him as Matthew the Levi. So, no, what I'm saying is, so they had some, some people had different names, like Paul and Saul yeah, had two different names. Jesus only had one name. So even Jesus, no, 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 so what's Jesus' second name? I'm asking you. Which he didn't have one. That's what I'm saying. My point is, so, 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 you're so something wait, wait. So his name, so his name was only Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. That's why he was called Jesus. Wait. Of Nazareth. What? So his name was only Jesus. They didn't have second names. Come on. I'm, I'm asking you. you. Somebody as intelligent as you. Come ask on. Him this Slow down. So he was only known as Yesu or Isa or Yeshua Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeshua of Nazareth. Yeah. Oh, Yeshua of Nazareth. Yeah. So also they had something so to identify. Why, why is that? Mary Magdalene. Mary from because Magdalene. There, because there were many other Jesuses. Mary. Thank you. Right. Yes. So now Matthew. So, so do you wait, agree? Wait. That asking for a second name so, is folly. No, no. That means second you don't know name, history. You don't second know name history. could be an identification. You, of, don't, know Kunya, you don't know history. You don't know history. I'm just telling you. Something to identify who you're this asking person something is. That, they, that wasn't there historically. So that's a stupid. So basically.
basically every person of that time did have a second name. No, of course not. You might find in the Bible his surname was, but the surname is not as we know it. Mm. Surname means other name. Right. So sometimes. So, so now we find you have the disciples who was with him, and they witnessed his crucifixion, and they wrote about him. And so far, we have no evidence from them. I've given you John. You didn't accept it. I've no, no. You you've given me John, and you have no given me contemporary extant evidence from him. Neither did you provide any so, any character ca character character certificate that he no, was let me ask an you honest person. Let me ask you something. If we found a first century manuscript of John, would you believe Jesus died on the cross? If we find a first century manuscript of and John, it says exactly what it listen, says. and it says Jesus died on the cross, that will only establish the author believed that Christ died on the cross. So would you accept That's Jesus died on the cross? Did you hear what I said? No, I'm asking you. Did you hear what I said? So that means you're... you're Did you hear what I said? So my point is, the reason why I'm asking that, because your point to say that we have no extant uh, manuscript... What, what was time, my response? No, so let me... Hang on, hang on. What was my response? You would say that he believed that. Right. Is that unreasonable? No, so my point is... Uh, wait, no, wait. No, no, no. Is this... Is my stance unreasonable? Yes. Why? Because when I said to you about John, you said because we don't have no contemporaneous manuscript. Even if you find a John's even if gospel. Look, you just, even if you find argument, John. We have no competent. You're not, you're not listening. Even if, listening. You, if you, even if you find John. So with don't all use his, that as your argument then. That's let, my point. Let me establish my argument. Do you know there are many hieroglyphic writings? Well, 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 let's talk about this next week. No, I've no, got to go. I've got to go. Seriously. We're, okay, we're going to finish this in one minute then. Hieroglyphic writings talks about God of the underworld and God of the overworld. When they write about these things, because they write about it, it means it's true, right? According to your epistemology. Uh, no, but if they were ah. willing, if they were willing, now listen. So, so let, me, no, let me finish. Wait, wait, wait. So, Don't give me a gotcha. Listen, listen, listen. No, no. So you're saying just you because they write it, it no, doesn't no, mean no, no. it's true. They were willing to die for what they knew to be true or false. And if those writers in hieroglyphics, they're willing to die for so their belief... So you need to understand. What can I make, make a point? Yeah. To die if, for something that you knew was either true If, if a writer, or false, you need to like in the hieroglyphics, writes something and they're willing to die for their belief, does it make it true? Oh, it will make me believe that they honestly believe it is to be true. Does it make it true in reality that what they talk about the God of the Underworld is true? No, well, so say that again, what's the question? No, because what we're talking about is a historical event. They were willing... When they write... Die. No, let me finish, brother, let me finish. They're willing to die for a historical event. No, it's that, totally different. That's not, what... Not based on a philosophy. It's totally so different. when the hieroglyphics were written... Forget about that. When talking no, about no, the no, disciples. forget about it. When we understand antiquity and the text of antiquity, when people write about things Listen. in antiquity, if we are finding the hieroglyphics, people are writing God of the Underworld and God of the Overworld, does it not establish... You're missing the, the point. Uh, let me make really? my point. I haven't made my point. My point is, the stance is, what we understand from this writing is, the author, the scribe who wrote it, it was their belief that there was a God of the overworld, God of the underworld. It is not reflective of the truth. So if you find John or Matthew or Mark, whoever writes it, it is only reflective of their belief that there was someone X, Y, and Z who did X, Y, and Z. It doesn't mean it's true. So, to provide evidence that Christ was crucified and dead, do you find someone saying, okay, I witnessed with my own eyes, and I checked his pulse, and he, he was dead, and this kind of evidence is acceptable. You have none of that. Well, you, you honestly think first century Jews didn't know what a dead man looked like, no? Come on, man. No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a second, wait a second. Are you saying, Today, there are not many people who are in a coma and people mistake them as dead. In a coma? Yeah, and mistake them as dead. There are many people out there. The people mistake them as dead. No, no, no. Where, where, where did you get that from? I work in a hospital, my friend. Right? So I'm not getting it from anywhere. So somebody, I'm not putting it from thin somebody, air. somebody in a coma, nobody thinks they're dead. They're obviously in a coma. If people saw that he was there, just sitting there, motionless, people might think he's dead. But only when you look at... Beep, 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 they will say, ah, oh, heart is beating. Did people go and check his heart, pulse? Do you have any record anyone checked his pulse? Well, the, the one moment, one moment. Please answer. Blatantly. Clearly, Let's categorically. No, no, do you, go, go. do we, do, no, no. I know you're going to go. Next week, next week. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe in a few years time. Do you find anyone checking his pulse? Oh, is he dead? There is no such evidence. So the summary of our discussion is, we have a Christian friend, individual, who thought he believes in the Bible because the Bible is true. And the basis of his truth is archaeological evidence. And we only find what is the archaeological evidence, provide with some, every single evidence that he's bringing is not 
and evidence can be dismissed as belief of certain people rumors of certain people that doesn't provide any evidence whatsoever so now we realize that you know people need to up their standards of evidence when they talk about their belief otherwise it's simply a matter of blind faith just because you find a writing here and there it doesn't make it true if that was the case why don't you accept so many narrations from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu companions talking about his miracles talking about his prophethood why don't you do that? You should accept him as a prophet of God because hundreds and thousands of people but Ain't that the same thing because you go by four things, right? This one goes by four things Torah, first, Muhammad What is the standard of evidence for Muslims? Sorry? How do we establish